Hello, welcome to the video for this Honda FES125. <clears throat> so, known as the S-Wing as well. Uh, it's done some work, mind. Uh, oh, no, 83,000 miles. And uh, it had one previous keeper to me, registered 2013. And the uh, I bought it in 2016. And it's been a very, very useful tool. Um, but I've moved recently to a uh, remote location. And my situation is now that uh, I won't need this as I was living in the city of Bath. And I just used it for uh, generally all around the town. Now it comes with a uh, box on the rear, two keys, all the documents. And I had a private plate of 7PKT on it for most of the time as well. There's also another set of wheels which have got tyres on which are uh, no longer legal. But uh, this one is still very rideable. The MOT unfortunately elapses in a few weeks time, uh, November the 12th. Uh, it's taxed to the end of November. Um, the rear tyre is probably about on the legal limit. There is a brand new rear disc for it uh, in to fit on. And the front tyre wasn't that far, actually. No, he's probably borderline as well the front uh, fender got uh, cracked and I've rep repaired it but it's still perfectly serviceable there's a relatively new front disc with uh, just a small lip on there I think I put new pads on it not that long ago the center stand is operational but the uh, leg is just missing the side stand is fine the bodywork generally is marked up and scratched but it's not that bad the uh, Bike meets generally fettling if you're going to use it. There is one heated grip that's working. The other one's busted, the driver's side. The uh, screen, yeah, it's good. It's got a, uh, a holder there. Um, a little uh, cubby hole with a 12-volt power supply that you can run a USB off of. The uh, heated grip switch works fine. As I say, that one's basically broken the wires in there. All the push buttons and everything work okay. Sadly, it was uh, a Attacked not that long ago, actually. It managed to last absolutely years. Broad daylight, centre of Bath. Uh, two kiddies came along and had a go at it. And wheeled it off and got about 50 yards down the road and then uh, just put it on its stand and left it, maybe to be collected later. But uh, anyway, in the process, they broke the steering lock. Uh, so it's got no steering lock. And also the bike still rides well but the uh, bars are just off center and also they broke the uh, ignition barrel but i suspect that's just linked to the steering lock because the key goes in fine but it just won't turn to get the ignition on so i suspect once you've had a look at the steering lock and the the barrel will work fine but just in the meantime i've rigged up a, a temporary uh switch which um turns the bike on so uh, there we are eighty two thousand uh 300 i'm gonna have to put the camera down i'll just start her up it's a cold morning it starts up like that every time and uh, that's because there's a bigger battery on it than standard it does use a little bit of oil but nothing too bad i think really mot wise it's going to need uh, just the fettling of the steering lock the a couple of tires uh, a rear number plate light uh, the horn all works fine. The lights all work fine. That's because we've got uh, asymmetrical lights. Let's just turn that one off. There we go. And then we're on to this one here. But she sounds absolutely sweet. Drivetrain, transmission. I've done belts, discs, pads over the years, and a clutch as well. And the. Uh, there's no binding on the tyres or anything like that, that's fine. Suspension's good. You can almost fall asleep on this bike because it is so comfortable. Um, anyway, I'm not going to ask much for it because it's uh, obviously got a short MOT, but they're certainly worth some money still and they're excellent transport around town. And I mean, you can't get much greener than this. It was made in 2013. It's covered 83,000 miles. Its carbon footprint is got to be as minimal as it could possibly be. That's far greener than your average uh, electric car, I would say. It's got to be. Uh, it smells nice, doesn't sm smoke out the back. And that is from cold. Absolutely from cold. Uh, yeah, 
hope that's given you a decent description of it. The seat's got a few rips and things, but it's still a comfortable seat. Um, and that's the uh, just the bodge up for starting it. All it's doing is just bypassing the uh, ignition barrel. Um, okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.